Welcome to my first and uh, quite possibly last, if it goes really dreadfully, uh, short video on things I consider to be a big import and significance around the learning development field. Today I'm going to focus on a model I put together. I have been known to do such things and it is, this is my only prop for the day, the DOC model, D-O-C. It's very straightforward. It would have to be if it comes from me and it's in three parts. D, O and C is desire, opportunity and capability or competence. I use capability more these days. So think of the people we work with in terms of their desire to learn, their opportunities that they have from which to learn and the capability, their latent potential, the learning and the development they've yet to show um, evidence of. So it looks simple. It is simple. Doc, desire, opportunity, capability. The trouble is, how often do we see people with all three? How often do we see people who have got the real desire, the intention, the motivation to actually learn, to put the effort in, to try to actually overcome the difficulties and obstacles which everyone has from which to learn? How often do we see people with opportunity? where the workplace is welcoming, is positive, is encouraging of learning, and where that capability is evident, uh, it's clear, and it has value. So, and this is where I get really sophisticated, standard revealing technique, it's a little bit more sophisticated than that, it's a little bit more complicated than that, because sometimes we get desire and opportunity, but we don't have capability. What that means then is from a practitioner's point of view, this is when we see people who want to learn, who've got the motivation, who really have that desire. They've got opportunity. They've got a welcoming, encouraging line manager. They've got an organization that's got all the right policies and procedures, but they just don't have the capability. How do you let them down? Or how do you build that capability somehow? Then you've got people with desire and capability, but they don't have opportunity. What you've got there is people who do have that motivation, that strong desire from which to learn, and they have the capability. They've got it. They, they've, they really want to put it into practice. Um, but there's an opportunity. The organization itself is discouraging. Uh, their line manager could be of the, did you have a good birthday? Uh, sorry, did you have a good birthday? Where did I come from? Did you have a good holiday? Could have been a holiday for birthday when they go on a training course you know back to work no so to have desire to have capabilities fine but without opportunity it just won't work then you've got people these are the frustrating ones to me they've got capability it's evident they do have that potential they've got opportunity the organization is laying it on a plate for them they can get better they just need to have desire and that's what they lack so desire opportunity capability simple straightforward certainly is trouble is don't see it often enough. And again, it's the third category in the second column that really bothered me. The people who do have opportunity, the people that do have capability, but they just can't be asked. They either want it on a plate or they just don't want it at all. So when I'm working with groups and when I'm working with individuals, this is a model I take into account a lot. I think a lot about, is this person showing a desire? Uh, is this person bothered enough? Have they, has they get up and go, got up and gone, or is it still there in enough quantities to actually fire their motivation to learn? Opportunities. Do they see these opportunities? Are they there? Or if they're not, can they be created? And capability. What do they think are the capabilities that they have that are not yet being shown? Like I say, I use it a lot. It seems to work for me. And the one that bothers me the most is the issue of opportunity. People with strong desire to learn, people with a lot of capability, a lot of latent potential, but how good are organizations or how good are line management relationships in an organizational context, of course, at fueling that, of giving that some direction, some guidance, so it's not left as a totally lonely journey. These things bother me. It bothers me that we don't always get the return on the time we spend, on the effort people make. Um, in the workplace, we don't see enough return on our efforts. To me, 
The desire opportunity capability model explains that. I wonder what you think.